Rajan Gosavi Chinmay Academy presents a video on how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam having a overhang as shown over here. This question we have taken from strength of material question paper May 2017 from Pune University. Now the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here. So as you can see it carries a uniformly distributed load of 40 kN per meter then a point load of 60 kN it also carries an external moment of 120 kN meter acting at point E and the span length from A to B is 3 plus 1 plus 1 that is 5 meter and an overhang of on the left hand side of 1 meter. Now for this particular arrangement we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Now first we will convert this particular uniformly distributed load into a point load. So here the UDL that is given is 40 kN per meter that is for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 40 kN then for 3 meter length the load that will be acting will be 40 into 3 and as it is a rectangular distribution it will act at the center of 3 meter length that is 1.5 meter. Now applying the first condition of equilibrium that is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces we have considered them as positive whereas downward forces we have considered them as negative. So RA and RB they are acting in the upward direction. This 60 kN it is acting in the downward direction. Minus 40 into 3 this 120 kN load that is also acting in the downward direction. So we can say that RA plus RB transfer this negative term on the right hand side. So it is 60 plus 120. So therefore RA plus RB is equal to 180 kN. Call this as our equation number 1. Now the another condition of equilibrium is summation of moments is equal to 0, clockwise positive and anticlockwise negative. Now take moment about point A. Now we will start with RB. The arrow of this RB it will go in the anticlockwise direction towards A and from B up to A the perpendicular distance is 5 so it is minus RB into 5. There is already an external moment of 120 kN meter in clockwise direction that is acting so that also we have added over here. The UDL which we have converted into point load will also produce clockwise moment about A and the perpendicular distance from this point up to A is 1.5 meter so it is 120 into 1.5 so that is also indicated over here. Then this 60 kN point load it will produce anti-clockwise moment about A so it is 60 into 1 but as it is anti-clockwise it is negative. So transfer this negative term minus RB into 5 on the other time it will on the other side it will become positive and then if you calculate the value the value of RB will be 48 kN. Substitute this value of RB in equation 1 so RA will be equal to 180 minus RB so it is 132 kN. Now using these values we can draw the shear force diagram. The conventions which we have used for drawing the shear force diagram they are upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. Now we will start from point C. So shear force at point C is equal to minus 60 kN because at point C the load that is acting is in the downward direction. Just left of the A there is no other force that is acting between C and A left so it will be same that is minus 60 kN. Exactly at point A there will be a upward acting reaction RA that is a 132 kN. So as it is acting in the upward direction it will be plus so it is minus 60 plus 132 that is 72 kilonewton. Then shear force at D left we have to take into consideration this uniformly distributed load of 40 into 3 that is 120 kilonewton. 
so 72 and as it is acting in the downward direction it is 72 minus 120 that is minus 48 kilonewton shear force at d will also be same because there is no any other point load that is acting at point d so that is minus 48 kilonewton shear force at e will be same because there is no force that is or there is no load act is acting between d and e similarly at the b left also there will be same load shear force the same shear force will be acting that is minus 48 kilonewton because there is no load that is act, that is acting between e and b but exactly at point b there is a upward acting reaction so minus 48 plus 48 that is zero so using these values we can draw the shear force diagram so we'll start with point c it is minus 60 kilonewton at a left it is minus 60 kilonewton then at a it is 72 kilonewton positive then d left it is minus 48 kilonewton then remains same up to b left and exactly at b it is zero now we'll consider any section xx at a distance x where shear force diagram is changing its sign so this is the point of zero shear where we can find out the we can find out that point of zero shear and bending moment also so as this distance is x and this distance is one meter this remaining distance is x minus one similarly the total distance is three plus one that is four minus x so this particular distance will be four minus x so we can say that the base of this particular triangle larger triangle that is formed over here on the left hand side will have a base of x minus one and the smaller triangle which is formed on the right hand side will have a base of 4 minus x the height of this larger triangle is 72 whereas height of this smaller triangle is 48 so using these values we can easily find out the point of zero shear so from the similarities of the triangle we can say that base upon height of the larger triangle is equal to base upon height of the smaller triangle so x minus 1 upon 72 is equal to 4 minus x upon 48 so cross multiply by this 48 to this x minus 1 and 72 to this 4 minus x multiply by this 48 inside the bracket so it is 48 x minus 48 into 1 that is 48 72 into 4 that is 288 and 72 into x that is 72 x now transfer this minus term on the other side on the left hand side so it will become positive so it is 48 x plus 72 x is equal to 288 transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive so we can say that 120 x is equal to 336 or x is equal to 2.8 meter now we have to find out the value of bending moment at the point of zero shear so for that we'll consider only the left the loads which are acting on the left hand side of section xx first we'll convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load so 40 into x minus 1 so for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 40 kiloton then for x minus 1 meter length the load that is acting will be 40 into x minus 1 and it will be acting at the center of x minus 1 so 40 into x minus 1 is the udl which we have converted into point load and it is acting at the center of x minus 1 that is x minus 1 upon 2 now using these values we can find out the bending moment at this section xx so consider all the forces on the left hand side of this section xx start with this 60 kilonewton load uh, start with this 132 first we have taken 132 term over here so this ra it will produce clockwise moment so it is positive so it is 132 and the perpendicular distance from a up to this section xx is x minus 1 then this point load will produce anti-clockwise moment about this section xx so it is 60 into x and as it is anti-clockwise it is negative so minus 60 into x then this udl which we have converted into point load so 40 into x minus 1 and its arrow it will also produce anti-clockwise moment about section xx and its perpendicular distance is x minus 1 upon 2 so this 40 into x minus 1 is the load and again multiplied by x minus 1 upon 2 now substitute the value of x x that we have calculated is 2.8 meter from point c so substitute that value over here so that you will get bending moment at section xx as 4.8 
kilonewton meter so once again try to understand so bending moment at this section xx start with this ra ra will produce clockwise moment so 132 into x minus 1 this 60 kilonewton it will produce anti clockwise moment about section so it is 60 into x that is negative because of the anti clockwise direction this 40 into x minus 1 that will also produce anti clock anti clockwise moment about section xx so 40 into x minus 1 and perpendicular distance is x minus 1 upon 2 and then substituting the value of x we will get bending moment at this particular section xx as 4.8 kilonewton meter Now we have to draw the bending moment diagram. The conventions which we have used for bending moment diagram, they are clockwise moments that are considered as positive, whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative. Bending moment at C is zero because that is the end point of the simply supported beam. Then bending moment at A, consider all the forces on the left hand side of A. So it is 60 into one, but this 60 will produce anti-clockwise moment. So it is negative. Then bending moment at section xx already we have calculated so it is 4.8 kilonewton meter at d it is start with this 60 kilonewton this will produce anti-clockwise moment about d and perpendicular distance between c and d is 1 plus 3 that is 4 then this ra it will produce clockwise moment about d and perpendicular distance between a and d is 3 so as it is clockwise moment it is positive then this udl it is 40 into 3 that is the total udl between a and d and it will act at the center of 3 that is 1.5 meter so udl load is 40 into 3 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 meter but it will produce anti-clockwise moment about d so that is 40 into 3 into 1.5 then bending moment at the left of E. So we have to consider all the forces on the left of E without considering this external moment of 120 kilonewton meter. So start from this 60. So 60, it is producing 60 kilonewton load. It will produce the anti-clockwise moment about E and the perpendicular distance between C and E is 5 meter. That is 1 plus 3 plus 1. That is 5 meter. This RA will produce clockwise moment about E. So it is RA into 4. Then this 40 into 3, that is the UDL load and its perpendicular distance. It will act at the center of 3 meter, that is 1.5. So from this to this, it is 1.5 plus 1 because we are taking moment about point E. So minus 40 into 3, that is the UDL load and perpendicular distance will be 1.5, that is half of 3 meter plus 1 that is minus 72 kilometer meter then exactly at e there is a clockwise moment of 120 kilometer meter that is already acting so it is minus 72 plus 120 that is 48 kilometer meter and bending moment at point b which is the end point of the simply supported beam is zero so these are the values and using these values we can easily draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment at c is zero then at a it is minus 60 then as there is a uniformly distributed load there is a parabolic distribution and then at e and then at b it is zero so various values they are also written over here so at c it is zero at a it is 60 kilonewton meter then at section xx it is 4.8 kilonewton meter at point d it is 24 kilonewton meter at point E, it is 72 kilonewton meter. Exactly at E, it is 48 kilonewton meter. And at point B, it is zero. So in this way, we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load as well as external moment as well as the point load or overhang. Thank you very much for watching.